So armor is one of the most important things in the game. Without having a proper good armor set, you're going to find it much harder to defeat the monsters in the later parts of the game. So this video is here to help you new players understand what is needed to build a good armor set. Hello, my name is Sean Devil and I do stream on Twitch. The link is down in the description below. I pretty much talk about a lot of anime there and overall just have a fun time with my small community. So it would be great if you could join in as well. And you know, just we can just mess about there as well. <laughs> so make sure to follow me on Twitch. Also to make sure to follow me on Twitter because that's when I post when I'm going live, what days, because I don't have a proper schedule figured out yet. So make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. So the first thing that comes to mind for whenever you're building armor is skills. Skills is the core of your armor builds, without a doubt. So forget about every other stat that you see here. So like defense, your versus fire versus water. All of those stats don't matter too much. So focus more on the skills that you want to build. So when I say focus down on the skills that you want to build. So what I'm trying to say is that you should make a bunch of armor pieces that come together to help increase a particular skill. So take for example right here. This helmet has a health boost of level 2, right? To further increase it so that it can reach the highest possible level which is level 3 which you can see right there the two squares that you can see you can see one square that's not highlighted so if i want to reach that skill the level 3 all i need to do is equip another armor piece that will help boost it to that level so if i were to equip this chest piece right here which has a health boost of level 1 that means that i can help make that skill the highest possible level it can be now the reason why you'd want to max out a skills level is so you can get the maximum benefit from it. So take for example this poison resistance skill right? At level 1 it reduces the number of times you take poison damage. Nothing that great. But when you make it go to level 3 it prevents poison completely. So as you can see level 3 is the clear winner here. <laughs> so it's best to always maximize a skill that you have. There are some cases where you can't but try and do it as much as you can. Now the next tip that comes to mind for whenever you're building armor is actually focusing your armor builds between one of these two things. One of them being to actually cater your armor set towards a specific monster. There have been times when I've been playing and I just hate this monster's attacks or whatever it does. So I just went full on, you know what, I know this monster's weakness. I know what it does, like it throws out this element. So just cater this armor set to specifically eliminate those problems so take for example this armor build that i have right here i have ice resistance level 3 because it throws out a lot of ice attacks and i just get hate i just hate getting damaged by them so that's why i just went full on ice resistance to its highest potential also i did on fire attack as well because i know its weakness is fire therefore just get the fire attack skill try and make it as high as possible and just as added on i put on blight resistance because it throws out a lot of ice blight along with those ice attacks so ice blight resistance too lets me reduce the duration of that elemental blight after having built this whole armor set and just using it against that monster the fight feels so much easier because as i said with all these skills that i have on it it will help me increase the amount of damage that i do to it reduce the amount of damage that i get from it and also preventing those blight effects so as i said with this skill right here the blight resistance skill every time it tries to inflict me with that blight effect it barely even happens i don't even see it happen anymore so as i said just build an armor set that's just catered towards that monster so that you can get rid of whatever ability that it throws out now the other type of armor build that i would go for is actually to help improve your weapon's abilities so i'm talking about maybe your weapon has a little a little charge bar or something on the side that it does right there are actually skills to help improve the ability of that so take for example this whole build right here is catered towards the long sword right i know that the long sword has a little powered up state that it goes into so i added on the skill power prolonger because i know it will help my long sword it clearly states that it allows a long sword to stay powered up for longer so there are skills that will help improve your weapons abilities. Another skill that I added on was the focus skill because I know that the longsword has a little gauge that appears when you're fighting monsters, right? 
And I know that whenever you're attacking monsters, it will increase that gauge. So having the focus skill on will help it even more. It'll help it increase the fill rate by 20%, as it says. So just look for skills that will help your weapon's abilities. Now the next tip for building armor is actually look into charms. Charms pretty much gives you a skill. Most of the times it gives you one skill. There are a few that gives you two skills. So take for example this Gabbard's charm here. It has two skills. But the majority of the times it will give you one skill. And when you actually build one, it will give you at the base level for one. So that means the skill will only be at level one. But you can upgrade it so that you can reach the highest level, which is level three. It does require some materials, so just take a look at what it needs to upgrade that charm. And another great thing about charms, it helps with just either filling up a gap of whichever skill that you have. So it works the same way as armor. So if you have a skill that's just not maxed out to its highest level, then adding a charm will help increase that skills level or it can give you pretty much a another skill so sometimes i just use it to add on defense boost along with my armor which you see most of my armor builds most of my armor builds actually have defense charm so uh just experiment experiment with other charms don't be like me that just stayed on defense charms <laughs> the next thing to take note of is to decorate your armor with these jewels now jewels you obtain them through these random hunts or even actually the most times you actually get gems is actually defeating tempered monsters so i'm talking about monsters that have a little purple icon around them now there's a few armors that don't have slots so just take a look see if it does have a slot available and if it doesn't then you won't be able to put the jewels on now jewels works the same way as armor does it pretty much gives you a skill if you don't have the skill it will add it on it's as simple as it gets now these jewels do have slot levels as well so as you can see right here we have attack jewel one destroyer jewel two and drain slash evasion jewel four so just take a look at what your armor piece is able to do so this armor piece right here has these slots available you can see that this one has little four triangles on there which means that it has a slot available for jewels that are of level four and then the next one aside it is two little triangles so jewel twos will be allowed to be placed on there and the last one is just a basic image of a jewel no most of the times it's actually just level one jewels that you can place there so just take a look at those slots now you can put a level one jewel into a level four slot but i feel like you're just wasting its potential so try not to do that too much unless you have no choice then just go ahead and put a jewel that's of a lower level so take for example this armor piece right here it has a slot available for a level four gem a level three gem and a level one gem but in my case over here i actually slotted in the level two gem in a level three slot um i might be wasting its potential but i don't have a lot of level three jewels so i just went ahead and slapped on a level two gem so it may cause some players to be a bit crazy on that little side of ocd which kind of bothers me a little bit but I had no other choice because most of my other level 3 gems aren't even worth it so I went ahead and slapped on a level 2. <laughs> now the last tip I have for you guys is to upgrade your armor. Now I'm also talking about moving from low rank gear to high rank gear because high rank monsters will do way more damage than a low rank monster would so just make that upgrade. Make that transition from your low rank gear to high rank gear. Now this also applies for you new iceborne players as well. Make that transition start moving from high rank gear to master rank gear. Now the other thing that I want to say about upgrading your arm pieces is actually leveling them up because when you level them up their defense will increase so as you can see right here if I were to upgrade this particular armor piece to its highest level it will increase it to 172 rather than its base defense which is almost 150 and you can also see here that to upgrade your armor pieces you're going to use these spheres. These armor spheres can be obtained by going through hunts or actually completing bounties. Also for Iceborne players, you are also able to augment your armor pieces. Augmenting your armor pieces will remove the upgrade limit so you can upgrade your armor piece even more. So that's like all I have for building armor. It pretty much goes down to what skills do you have that will help you fight a monster or maybe even boost the power of your weapon. So look more into skills. Forget about the defense and the other stats there. 
I mean, they are useful, but focus more on the skill. And so guys, if you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. And also to make sure to follow me on Twitch. If you want to talk more stuff, maybe there's something I haven't mentioned or something like that. Just feel free to drop into Twitch. I'll answer some questions there as well. Also to make sure to follow me through Twitter because I don't have a proper schedule on Twitch. I do tweet out when I'm going live and on what days. So make sure to follow me there. Anyways, that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys later. What I did was that and it killed him. Oh my days. Oh my days. Wait, 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 wait. We should have killed him because they need the material. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh, we all messed up.